for example number one uh it's very straightforward all right i hope you know how to tell the uh transformations here it's moving to the right three up four so that means the points right here okay so uh so so I want well, another thing I want to make sure I guess is that the when you are making a cubic uh, when you make a cube root graph which is what we are doing right here I hope you are also reinforcing your knowledge of cubic function because uh, you understand it's just swapped so now we're going to move uh, seven units to the right which should be right here approximately because it should be uh, at 11 and then seven units to the left will be at negative five Okay, again, if you know it's going to uh, move seven units to the right or to the left, and you know what number that you are moving from, just go ahead and do the addition and subtraction. Uh, don't necessarily count the squares because uh, the squares may be uh, misleading. Okay. That's a graph, that's a cube root function. And uh, center of rotational symmetry would be three comma four. And like before, the domain in range is gonna be super boring. Okay. Now, what is not boring would be the X and Y intercept. Okay. Ooh, let's go ahead and take a look at the Y intercept first because we can see the Y intercept is somewhere between two and three. But it's not a nice number, so that's why we would need to go ahead and uh, figure it out. So we know about the y-intercept is zero something. So we just go ahead and place a zero into the x. And uh, you can do this mentally. I'm just going to show it to you here. And uh, I, I, I always... Uh, support or encourage students to to use parentheses when you're substituting okay it may seem redundant it's a habit because in the future you really want to show yourself how do you do, you do uh, substitution and that's really it can't do anything uh, other than this so you have cube root of negative three plus four Okay, keep root of negative three plus four. If you are curious about what this number is, of course, you can go to a calculator and say, let's go ahead and find out what is the what is the negative keep root of negative three plus four. Oops. Ooh, five point four. Oh, hold on, no, 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 no. I did the extra negative. It should be keep root of negative three plus four. 2.55 or 2.56 if you run it to the third, uh, second decimal place. 2.56, which makes sense, right? Which uh, we look at the graph, we're like, yeah, we're expecting a number between two and three. So that makes a lot more sense. A lot of sense. Okay. And now, we switch gear to find out the x-intercept. We know the x-intercept is when the y is equal to zero, okay? But uh, as you can see right here, uh, the x-intercept is somewhere farther, uh, further down to the left-hand side, and we don't even know where it's gonna be. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, find out. So for the uh, y-intercept, let me go ahead and use, uh, oh no, x-intercept, sorry. X-intercept would be when the y is equal to zero. This is to find out the x-intercept. It's y is equal to zero. Now, here's another thing. Uh, I hope, I hope no one is forcing, uh, no one's forcing uh, yourself to uh, memorize about this. Now, I hope that nobody's like, oh, I need to memorize that uh, x-intercept. Uh, it's always uh, having a zero for the y value. I hope you're not memorizing this because if you are not blind, 
you just look at the graph and you think about, wait, yeah, so where's the uh, x-intercept? X-intercept is a point that's on the x-axis, which the y value is zero. So I hope you're not memorizing it. It will be a waste, a huge waste of resource, your mental resource, if you are memorizing something so obvious. What's negative four cube? There'll be a negative. 64, okay? Remember uh, last week I said uh, you should know all those uh, cubic numbers, four cube, okay? It's one of them. So uh, X is equal to negative 61. You add three on both sides. So no wonder we couldn't see the X intercept because it's so, for, so much uh, further down to the left. It's negative 61 comma zero. Okay, so I think that this is a really good uh, example to show you what we expect you to do. We expect you to know how to graph, which is easy. Uh, I think uh, the only thing that's challenging is that we expect you to know how to find the X and Y intercept when they are not easily, or they're not nicely pinpointed on the, on the integer, on the, on the graph. So, uh, so in that case, you really want to make sure that you know what to do, which is easy. Uh, I don't think uh, you should memorize anything. It's just common sense. Okay.